If you're battling to find art materials at home, these inexpensive cookies are quite a nice material because they are water soluble and they react to bleach. So what I'm going to work with is these cookies. I've got a little bit of this normal household bleach in this little container. I've got this I've got this brush that's hard, but instead of using this brush, you could use um, earbuds or Q-tips if you're an American. So I'm just going in a little bit closer. And oh, you also need water. So you need some water and you need a paintbrush to apply the water. So first I'm going to get this kirky and just work in. where there should be some value. Maybe just behind the ear. Okay, and it all looks ridiculously harsh. But you should see the magic start to happen very soon. Okay, so you pick up, don't confuse your bleach and your water. So here's my little water tub and I'm picking up water and you can see immediately that Koki, these really cheap, dodgy Karaoke, karaoke Joy Kokis are starting to behave like watercolor. So you can get all these lovely soft marks happening. So once all this dilutes, you will get all those. So while it's wet, you can also, if you want to, you could wet the surface with water. Okay, I'm wetting the surface. And then you can draw and you will get a more smudgy, you won't get a definite mark. It might just destroy the cookies, but let's hope not. I don't think so. Okay, they still seem to be okay. But what's also quite nice about these um, cookies is that they react to bleach. So, if I put, um, okay, let's put some marks down here. Okay, and then what I'm doing is I've got my little container of bleach. Uh, and the other thing you need is um, maybe some credit cards. And then you can, and you can see the cookies are reacting to that bleach. So what I did is I uh, put some bleach here with these credit cards. I think I might even just pull that across. And the bleach seeped into the, um, the drawing that I had done there. I just like um, what the bleach, the bleach does. Water might actually do the same thing. Um, the only thing is you've got to be careful, once you put bleach down, you've got to be careful. Actually, maybe let me try a little bit of water and see what it, no, I don't think water, oh, water is actually, it's just not as extreme as the, as the bleach. Okay, if you've put too much down, you can always just, okay, that completely destroyed it. Okay, but the point I'm trying to make is that these almost become like substitute watercolor paints and you can build up your, your drawing with them. Just one thing to remember when you are 
finished with an artwork and you've decided you you want to keep some of the bits that you've done then find some hairspray and put a light coating of hairspray even two coatings of hairspray and it will seal everything in so I quite like these scribbles that I've done so I'm probably going to spray this area so that when I work over it it doesn't actually disappear